Ambassador Geminis, and welcome now to Shout Out Wednesday. Post a comment or ask a question at soulgarden.tv in the Gemini viewing room or on the Gemini profile page. I'll do my best to shout back or answer one week later. Looks like it's sunny and social today for the twins of the Zodiac. The moon is in Aries, putting emotional focus on your social life. So you're emotionally connected to your constituents, the people that you go out and do and become a messenger for. Excellent time to go out and have uh, a nice evening with someone, to connect to a friend, and also realize you're a bit more sensitive than usual. So if you get an email or a message you don't like, mm, there's a subtle tendency to overreact right now, especially during your birthday period. And speaking of your birthday, Happy birthday, Gemini! Your birthday period is almost over, though. We're in Chapter 3 of Sun and Gemini, and today Saturn is ruling the day. Now, when Saturn rules the day, it's decision time, and when Saturn rules the day in Chapter 3, it's commitment time. So it is time for you, Gemini, to make a commitment to yourself. The topic is, what are you going to be like as far as ego and persona and personality in the next year? Okay? Ego is the way we react, the way we present. It's our hairstyle. It's our smile. It is when someone says something insulting to me, how do I react to that? Do I even react? It's all these things. It's our automated program behavior. It is, frankly, our rising sign in natal astrology. And it's time now for Geminis to commit on who they want to be in 2009. Don't worry. Next year on your birthday, you'll have a chance to update again. And you can always update. You just don't always have the entire solar system at your disposal to do it. So time to decide. Then it's time for our shout out. It goes to Wendy V, who comes to me through Matt Turner, who is basically the Gemini uh, director of Gemini, or Zodiac director of Gemini. Sorry, Matt. Thank you for sending Wendy V's question to me. And Wendy asked the question about the busyness of Gemini's mind. It seems like you guys are really grappling with the fact that your minds are everywhere all the time. You know what? That is the way you're built, okay? You are the twins of the Zodiac. You're the only sign with tool processors. And why is that? Let's ask why that is. It's because you are meant to both understand the position of the receiver and the position of the broadcaster. You're meant to think for two all the time. That's why you're the messenger. Because you're saying the message and you're also trying to relate whether or not they understood it. Okay? So when you're young as a Gemini, it's very hard to focus. Every Gemini I know in youth is like constantly going a thousand ways and directions a minute. They, you never really get a Gemini's full attention. They're always thinking about something else. But when a Gemini learns to focus, it's that they have this duality. Why do you think it is that you have the ruler of the eyes and the ruler of the lungs and the ruler of the hands? You guys are rulers of everything that comes in two on the human body, if you don't know that. And it's because you're always supposed to think in two. So as you mature, you will learn to focus on the two issues revolved around one idea. So in other words, if it's a message, you'll think of the sender and the receiver. If it is, for instance, a essay you're writing, you will think of the overall story and you'll think of every word. You'll always think in parallels. That's a good thing, but it does take some discipline and focus as you mature as a Gemini. All right, Geminis, that's all I have for the day. Thanks, Matt, for that question, and we'll see you, we'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So